They found him. They found him. How you like that? How you like them apples, boys? Carolina Jackpot time coming at you. It's Saturday morning. No, it's not. It's not Saturday. Sunday morning. December 4th, 2022. Uh, so, uh, as I predicted correctly here yesterday on the uh, Carolina Jackpot channel, my video, as I, you know, kind of, kind of got most of my picks right. Uh, Clemson did win the ACC championship last night. They covered the spread and they blew out UNC. 39-10 um, was the final score there. They even, uh, I thought it was real cute too. After they scored on that 98-yard pick six from that uh, quarterback that I was told last night during the uh, old Uncle Lou live stream that he was really good. 98-yard pick six. They paid homage to Beamer Ball. They paid homage to Beamer Ball. I tried to be like Daddy. Tried to be like Daddy, and uh, and and scored on a uh, a, a two point conversion off of a fake extra point. Let uh, Dabo's son run it in. That was so cool. What a moment, man. What a moment. Gosh. But I will tell you, um, the Taters, you have found your man. You found your man, Cade Klubnik. Kay Klubnik comes in off the bench and delivers. The mailman delivers a performance of a lifetime. 20 of 24. What was he? Like 296 yards, almost uh, right at the 300 yard mark there. Awesome, man. Awesome. Five star talent. Stacking them up like cordwood. Stacking them up like cordwood. No, nah, but you know what? I, I, I'm glad to see it. I'm glad that y'all have something to cheer about this week. You didn't have anything to cheer about last week. You finally got something to crow about today. Uh, well, roar about, I guess. We're the ones that do the crowing. But, you know, I've seen it all morning long. Any tater that was up after midnight, after midnight, here was exactly a, uh, a, 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 a condensed version of, of everything I saw on Facebook and Twitter. If he'd have started last week, we'd have beat South Carolina by 21 points. And in some fashion nor form uh, of that post. It is. <laughs> oh, my God. You people are cute. You're cute. You're really cute. Um, did, you know, was he going to play defense? Um, I don't know. Was he going to... Uh, Teach Antonio Williams how to hold on to a ball. Hmm, I don't know. Was he going to be the one to stop calling uh, stupid uh, trick plays on uh, special teams that don't work? I'll be, you did what last night, it worked. So that wipes out everybody. From, gonna forget about the hillbilly circle jerk you did after the safety last week uh, that you fumbled on. Is he gonna do all that stuff? I don't know. No, no not so much. I don't think so. Uh, I still think that Dabo is still the smartest man in the room. Uh, God knew what he was doing. He didn't plug the kid in there to play very much this year um, until he was ready. And I'm sure he felt like he was ready this week. So, as it were, goes out, has a really good performance. Uh, you people roll up North Carolina just like you should. I mean, you're a more talented team. North Carolina is uh, as soft as baby dookie. And um, it was proven out on the field last night. Uh, I have nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Let's move on. But um, it, it's really funny that we're going to go back in time, but we would have won. And then I hear the, the, the hear the post of the Gamecocks fans today. Here they come now. What, you're going to get eight and four rings now? What, are you going to get a beat Clemson by one point ring now? You people are so dumb. I mean, you really need to learn how to cope. Learn how to cope. Learn how to take the medicine. Learn how to eat the bologna that you've been dishing out for seven years, eight, nine years, eight years. It's been eight years. Carolina Jackpot's math was a little off. 2014 was when the uh, the, the, the streak event for me in the, the, the decade of dicking, as Rob Sanders called it. Yeah, you know, the decade of dicking fell up a little bit short. So uh, somebody's tally whacker got uh, got whacked off at the tip, didn't it? Sure did. But it is what it is. Um, Taters with a good performance last night. Really good performance uh, defensively. I mean, you know, North Carolina couldn't do a whole lot. Um, so. Uh, Congratulations, I guess. Uh, ACC champions, once again, uh, back where you belong, taking your rightful spot 
ACC, another Clemson championship. I, I don't know. I, I personally think North Carolina is just really not that good. Uh, they're right near the bottom defensively. Uh, but it doesn't matter. You took care of business. You took, they're not very good, but you did what you should. I guess a not very good team. And uh, you wiped them off the map. Personally, just looking up and down the thing, and I share the same sentiment of a lot of folks. I think Florida State's the second best team in the ACC. Now, people can argue with that. Well, they won the championship game against Clemson Carolina Jack, but well, it couldn't be. They're on the same in the same division. Thank God all that's going away after next year. Uh, what are they doing? Pods, or are they just going to have one big ACC? Then they're just going to have one big ACC, which is fine. Uh, that's how it needs to be. I think Florida State's coming for you, and um, I don't know. They meet ones, the next ones to give you a test. North Carolina is never going to take their program to the next level uh, until they learn how to play defense, and that's that's just the reality of the situation. Uh, did anybody? No, you probably didn't, uh, but I happened to because I was well kind of bored and kind of half wanting to see what he had to say. I watched Smack Brown's uh, post-game conference. They kind of wheeled him in there and uh, and propped him up and let him talk for a few minutes. And uh, God dang, boy, he's a salty son of a bitch. He really is. He's he's uh, 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 a dang, uh, a, uh, what do you call it, a grumpy old fart. I mean, I guess uh, that should be expected. I mean, his team just got their brains kicked in. So, um, for what? The third week in a row. So, I guess he has a right to be angry. I'd probably be a little bit mad about it, too. Uh, but, uh, at any rate, taters, uh, do better. I mean, you know, you should really just stop talking because you uh, didn't win the state championship. Uh, you lost. I don't care if it was by one point or by a hundred points. You still lost the game. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They would hand us, they're going to hand us, we're going to get rings for it. They're going to hand us those eight and four rings. And they're going to give us the uh, the beat Clemson pinky rings to wear as well. And the, the final score is going to be engraved on it. And you know what? It doesn't matter that it's only by one point. It just matters that it's there. It matters that our score is higher than yours. 31 beats 30, right? Just like 21 beats 7. Or 45 beats 10. It don't matter, Tater. Don't matter. We still beat you. Learn how to hold on to the football. Learn how to hold on to the football. Pay attention to special teams. And maybe you guys will be able to pull one out next year in Columbia. Doubt it, though. Doubt it, though. Uh, looks like Spencer Rattler's going to play the ball game for South Carolina on, in our bowl. Which gives me... Um, a good feeling that he'll be coming back next year. Now, is it a good feeling or is it not a good feeling? I, I've got mixed reviews on this deal. I, I really do have mixed reviews on this deal. On one hand, I like the guy. I, I think that he um, ha, he really grew up a lot the last few weeks of the season. Not really grew up as uh, as in like emotionally or whatever, or as a person, but he grew up as a player. Um, Shane Beamer challenged the team after that Florida loss. You know, I, I looked inside myself. I challenged Carolina Jackpot uh, after that Florida loss, and I decided that uh, you know I was going to step away for four days, and that's exactly what I did. And it was the it was the greatest four days ever because it gave me a reset as a fan, and it also reset and rejuvenated our team. I'm thinking somewhere, I, I, and I don't know which one it was. I don't know if it was multiple ones, but I'm thinking those guys were watching Carolina Jackpot's videos, and and they uh, they really should be watching the Carolina Jackpot videos all the time because they're educational, and um, I, I give them props when they do well, and I point out things that they probably need to do better. So it's a good it's a good tool for them. I know they watch film and all that stuff, but this is a a, a real view from a uh, from a fan perspective. I think that someone watched those videos and they were like, you know, you know, I mean, bro, we gotta get our we gotta get our shit together, you know. Kind of jackpot done turned on us now. It worked. It worked. It it really did. Now on to the bowl game. I'm sure this afternoon we'll figure out who we're playing. The uh what is it, the, the playoff selection shows at like noon. I'll watch that. I wanna see uh see who sneaks in at that uh well, that those those three and four spots. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how that 
see how that plays out. We we know who's going to be one and two. Um, you know, Georgia. I mean, it had Georgia not beaten uh, Oregon in the first game of the season, say they played, uh, I don't know, say they played some Johnny Come Lately first game of the season that didn't matter. I don't know. Rice. I mean, and they were they were sitting here at thirteen and zero, and Michigan is also sitting here at thirteen and zero, having beaten Ohio State, um, and Georgia's I guess biggest win, um, having been over uh, well, having been over the Tard Man. What I mean, who would have been number one then? I don't know. I still think you have to give the nod to Georgia. They're defending national champion, so one, two, those three and four spots are going to be interesting. I don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, excuse me. I still think TCU stays in there. I don't know. I, I, and, you know, I'm not a big proponent of them staying out because I think that as much as they, I don't know, as much as they've ran their mouth uh, over the years, uh, Alabama's lost two games. They really don't have a, uh, a quality win. Um, over, uh, they don't have a quality win over a team that's ranked right now, I don't think. Maybe they do. They beat uh, Ole Miss, I mean, Ole Miss is ranked. Um, or, I don't know if Texas is ranked right now either, to be honest with you. I haven't looked at it that close. But, um, God, I got something in my eye. That sucks. I, I don't think they should be in. I, I really don't. I think that TCU should probably still stay there. Even though they did have the one loss. I mean, it was an overtime. It was a conference championship game. They already beat the team that they beat in the conference championship game once this year. So, I mean, how can you really take that away from them? I mean, if they met on a, a neutral field, I mean, I think Alabama would beat them. I mean, that's just me talking. Well, you're just an SEC homer, Carolina Jackpot. No, I'm not an SEC homer. Uh, and you'll know that about me. But I, I'm looking just from um, a perspective of uh, – you know, looking at this team versus this team, I just think that top to bottom, I think Alabama's probably a stronger squad right now. But they're, it's not going to matter. I don't think they're going to be in, and I think Ohio State will be in there. So that, that'll that be um, either, you know, either Ohio State will be three and TCU be four or be flip-flop. And it's pretty, pretty logical there. If they do put Alabama in there, I mean, the world's going to be in an uproar, and they really should be. They really should be because they're not deserving of it. Not this year. I'm sure they'll they'll end up in the, what, the Sugar Bowl probably. And um, then we, we're going to get to see the matchup that I wanted to see, Taters versus Tennessee in the Orange Bowl. And uh, I'm, I'm telling you right now, there's not going to be any who's jackpot going to pull for, or who's your fandom going to lie with, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm solidly going to be with the Vols 110% all day long. Go Big Orange if they play, okay? So don't save that clip and, and act like I pulled for Tennessee um, just out of the blue and random. I'm pulling for them if they play. If they don't, I don't really, you know, whoever clubs and plays, doesn't matter. I mean, if you play Satan, if you play Satan's team, I'm going to be Team Satan 100%. Uh, if you play, uh, I, I don't know, the Russian team, I'm Team Russia 100%. I just, I, I, I can't stand you. It's just that much. Um, so, at, at any rate, um, Guys, uh, it's been a great college football season. Um, someone who was in the uh, Robin Kale Show slash Callaway's College Football Pick'em Challenge uh, is going to win a lot of money today as soon as Rob Sanders lets me know who that is. Uh, I'll be sending some money their way. Um, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Carolina Jackpot channel if you're not subscribed already. Uh, and I will see you guys later. Poosh, I'm out of here. And uh, go Gamecocks. Ah, ah, ah. Woo! Don't forget this.